One of my all-time favorite ways to turn ideas into reality is with a process that I created back in the UK called Dream Sheets. And I've written quite a lot about Dream Sheets in this book called The Awesome Department. So quick plug, it's available from Amazon. So um, uh, check it out there if you like. And um, inside the book, it tells you all about it right there on page 178. Maybe it's backwards on the screen, I'm not sure. But anyway, that's my plug. Um, but Dream Sheets, the reason why I plug it is because Dream Sheets became crucial in my previous company being able to be a very, very creative company and being able to come up with an idea on a Monday and have it sold on a Friday. And this is something that's really important. So Dream Sheets work well in any kind of group situation where you want to be creative all the time and or a big stack of, um, of paper on everybody's desk in a dream sheet format. Now if you get the book you can download a uh, free PDF uh, template but I'll show you because it's really really simple. Um, so a template for a dream sheet looks exactly like this. <laughs> I told you it was simple. What happens is everybody has one of these and as soon as you get a good idea for something no matter what it is you take your dream sheet and in this section at the top you draw a picture of whatever it is that your idea might be. It doesn't mean it has to be a good picture, it can just be a matchstick figure or something really really simple. Underneath you give it a little title because it's always good to have a title to, um, to call your idea so that you can refer it to something. You don't have to say, oh that weird thing that I came up with last week. Give it a name, even if the name is cheesy, even if the name is silly, give it a name. And then give a little description, maybe just one paragraph of text of what you expect your idea to do or how it might work. If everybody in your team does this, then maybe by the end of the week, if you've got a team of 10 people and you've got uh, uh, three new ideas each, that gives you 30 unusual ideas. And all these ideas should be um, done solo. You don't need to collaborate with your friends. Uh, you just write it down whenever the moment hits you. And then what I like to do is on a Friday afternoon when things are winding down and maybe it's time to get a few beers, uh, you get your beers and you take everybody's dream sheets and one by one go through each idea. Now some of the ideas will not be practical at all and that's fine. Some of the ideas might be pretty good and you can discuss amongst your team which ideas should maybe move forward to the next round. It doesn't mean that rejected ideas are bad, not at all. You just keep them for another time. But maybe out of your 30 ideas you might pick three or four that you think are really cool and maybe some ideas get combined, maybe there's some interesting discussions. So you sit around in the pub reviewing your ideas. The ideas that you like the most, maybe you want to give them an even better name, an even better description, figure out how you might make them and create a couple of more professional, more polished graphics. If you've got any artists on your team or computer graphics specialists, um, then uh, they might want to work their magic to make the idea look a little bit more realistic. And if you do this process week after week after week, soon enough you'll build up a stack of dream sheets full of raw ideas and then a smaller selection of slightly more improved ideas, slightly more fleshed out ideas. And what I like to do is when clients and customers come to my office, they might be talking about their idea and I'm like, that's a cool idea. But what about all of these as well? Take a look, take your pick, see if anything sparks your imagination. Because if you follow everything from the first step about creating a culture of ideas, you'll be the kind of person that people come to when they want your ideas. So you've got to be ready to provide them or your team has got to be ready to provide them. And these dream sheets are quite literally that, a sheet of paper with a dream on. And you can use these very effectively to sell your ideas to people who might want them. Maybe they might take their ideas and modify them a little bit and then pay you money to create the final result. That's what happened with me and it was phenomenally successful. I'm surprised that more people don't do this technique because it's really, really effective. One of the reasons why it's so effective is because I like to put the name of the person that originated the idea on the bottom of the dream sheet and have that person 
take credit for the idea as they move through. So this is not um, the boss taking the credit for, for everybody's ideas. You really want to make it so that even if the person who makes the cup of coffee or the person who empties the garbage cans can come up with an idea, and if a client likes it, let's put that person in charge of bringing that idea to life because they're going to be so passionate about their idea that they're really going to um, going to do their best uh, to make sure that it becomes a reality. So this is something that you can all do right now. I mean, look at it. This is the world's most simplest thing. But can you imagine that you sketch this out on a Monday, and then by Friday, it goes across the desk as a proposal for a potential creative uh, project for somebody um, that could be financed. And this is literally how it works, because this is how people like to see ideas and they like to buy ideas. When it's physical, you can pass it across the table and go, here you go, this could be your idea. You could buy this idea. If it's something that's just in your head, ah, that could be in anybody's head. But when it's down on a sheet of paper, even if it's just one side of A4, it helps people imagine that it's real. It may sound silly and it may sound ridiculous, but please try it. Let me know in the comments how it goes, and I really look forward to hearing success stories that you might have with this Dream Sheet principle.